Man stopped to death during an altercation at home in St. Anne. Couple murdered at home on Olaba Road. And 55-year-old woman found at dead at home in St. Anne. Prime Nation family, Wagwan, welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. So today is the 14th of January, Prime Nation family. And St. Anne has recorded seven murders so far. The latest took place yesterday, Prime Nation family. In Ocho Rios. We're in Two individuals were in a heated argument wherein a next one took a, take a stone and hit the next one in the head. The one that get hit with the stone turn around and stab the next one to death. Prime Nation family. And if you check like Montego Bay, Montego Bay recorded murder already. It seems that the man them want to make a record. It is really sad. Prime Nation family. It seems that the country gone to the dogs. Him. So we have this article from Jamaica Observer in relation to the murder that took place in St. Anna yesterday. So I'm going to read the article. And if you are new to the Prime Nation channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss I upload from me and remember my peeps make sure to like up the video so I'm going to read the article now man stabbed to death during altercation at home in St. Anne a St. Anne man was stabbed to death at his home on Saturday there is Peter James otherwise called Chopper of Main Street Ocherius in the parish reports are that sometime after 7 a.m. James and another man got into an argument when a stone was due to hit the other man to the head causing a wound a knife was brought into play and James was reportedly stabbed in the chest. The police were summoned and both men were taken to the hospital where James succumbed to his injuries and the other man treated and released into police custody. The identity of the other man is being withheld pending further investigations. The incident pushed the number of people killed in St. Anne since the start of the year to at least seven. Some residents have expressed concern about the number of killings. One woman, Miss Marsha, said, St. Anne has been in the news too often. Every minute, it is another killing. Every minute, it is another incident. Next killing, St. Anne should be peaceful and it is not right now. Like the people them, I try to break record with the killing. She lamented. Sir Nation family, that is the article from Jamaica Observer in relation to the murder which took place in St. Anne. So right now, Ram Nation family, we are moving on to our next topic. We are going to Olaba and then we come back to St. Anne. So right now in the Ram Nation family, a couple was murdered at their home on Olaba Road in St. Catherine this morning. Yeah, tell the Ram Nation family, the year just started already and see that double murder took place in Old Arbor Ram Nation family. It is really alarming to know say, the year just starting up and the man them and murder the people them rapidly Ram Nation family. The year just start 14 days gone in the year and a day killing already. Hmm? It is really sad, me I tell you. So right now, I'm going to read the article. This is from the Cleaner Jamaica. So I'm going to read it right now. And if you have made it this far in the video and you haven't um, liked up the video as yet, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please do so. Couple murdered at home on Olaba Road. A couple were shot and killed at their home on Olaba Road in St. Catherine early Sunday morning. The police are still trying to identify the deceased man and woman 
and establish a motive for the attack. Preliminary reports are that about 4 a.m. residents heard explosions at 46 Old Arbor Road. About 10 a.m. checks were reportedly made at the dwelling and the two bodies seen. The police were alerted. They found the bodies and a bed in the board structure. Further checks revealed wounds to the upper bodies. The scene was processed and the bodies removed to a funeral home. The Major Crime Investigation Division and the St. Catherine North Police are investigating. So, Ram Nation family, that is the article from Jamaica Greener in relation to that double murder that took place where them murdered the couple on Old Arbor Road in St. Catherine Ram Nation family. So, we're going to move on to the next topic back in St. Anne, where a 55 year old woman body was found at her home. Yeah. So, in the article, them still say this lady lived by herself. And the last time them did see her around January 9th. So it seems like she took sick and you know drop out and thing. But um them not have no full play in this one or so. It seems like she does sick and dead family. So I'm gonna read uh, the article from um Jamaica Gleaner. So 55 year old woman found dead at St. Anne home. The Cape Valley police in St. Anne are investigating the death of a 55 year old woman whose body was discovered at her house on a Friday evening. The deceased has been identified as Gwendolyn Thompson, otherwise called Pamela, of Cascade District in the parish. Reports are that about 6 pm on Friday, residents detected a foul odor coming from the house that she occupied. A group of residents forcibly entered the building and found Thompson's partially decomposed body face down on a bed. The police were summoned and the body removed by a funeral home to be stored for post mortem. It's reported that Thompson, who live alone, was last seen alive on January 9th. So, Nation family, that is the article from Jamaica Glena in relation to this 55 year old woman um, who was found dead at her St. Anne home. So, Ram Nation family, if we get any more updates in all these three um, articles, we will make a next video and update you guys on this one. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And if you haven't liked the video as yet, make sure to like up the video, my peeps. And thanks again for watching. I'm out.